Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and welcome back to another episode of the, of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonist. Sorry, uh, I thought for a second I was playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> uh, so anyway, last time we finished off some level in Vicious Voodoo, and we defeated Ms. Ruby after many failures because I... Can't hear audio cues because of the way I record this series. She, we got a section of the Thievius Raccoonus, and she told us that we have to take on the Panda King. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. And this time, we're gonna go to the Panda King's lair. Let's go. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. Sly Cooper in. Fire in the sky. <laughs> kind of expected uh, Bentley to chime in here. I guess for some reason he isn't doing that. Eh, whatever. It's actually been a little bit since I've been able to record this series in particular. Feels good to be back. Uh, just need to reacquaint myself with, uh, you know, the controls a little bit. But luckily, this is a very simple game. I love the little baboon guy up there who just sends a guy down there who somehow gets full of... Like, snow, even though, like, this looks more like grass on the ground than it does snow, but whatever. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. I like how Sly isn't... Like, he's a criminal, but he's not a bad guy. You know, obviously they have him that way, so he, like... He's like, oh, he's a thief, but, you know, he's not a bad guy. It's like, uh... It's like that line from uh, Wreck-It Ralph. He's bad guy, but that does not mean he's bad guy. <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. Also, you can see down there just how high we've come up. Even though I'm pretty sure we did not come up this high, but whatever. Whee! So there's a blockage going our way. And just like any time there's a blockage, we need to find another way. There are little icicle things over there trying to kill us. Oh yeah, we learned invisibility from our Egyptian ancestor, what's his name? Nope. Now they're still launching snowball people at us. 
I, I love how the monkey guys are just kind of flailing, like, ow! Jerk. They're just kind of flailing, like, uh... Wait. Oh, I thought we had invisibility. But, like, equipped. Huh. Oh, well. So, there are all these fireworks here that if we were to hit the blue ones, we'll get coins! And if we hit the red ones, we get progression. Indeed. Break all these pots. I like, uh, I like the subtle little thing about... Where's the... Where's invisibility? Roll, dive, decoy, fast, mine, slow. Where's invisibility? Oh, I have to hold down the circle button. Okay. Kinda surprised we didn't alert that guy, just saying. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a close. That was a very, very close. Uh, sorry if I seem... If I yawn or something in this and the next coming episodes. I'm, I have not been sleeping very well. Um, well, not, it's not that I haven't been sleeping well, it's more so, like, I've been working on videos almost non-stop for, like, two weeks, so, um, yeah, I'm kinda, kinda tired. You know, like, I've been pretty much staying up, like, all night, every night for, like, the past two weeks. And even for somebody like me, who is, um, let's say different, that still takes its toll after a while. You can't get through the security gate without one of the Panda King's treasure keys. There's one over there. But it's heavily guarded. One key coming up. Okay, so the invisibility. Very useful for when, you know, there are these people here coming to, coming after us. Ow! Dick. Nerf! So stop looking for us. Stealth in this game is kind of just basically a theme. It's not really much of a gameplay element. You know, like... It's not like Metal Gear where, like, you really have to be stealthy. Otherwise, like, you're gonna have a bad time. If you play Metal Gear and don't be stealthy, you're gonna have a bad time. So says Thumper, your drill ski instructor. So, talking about that for a second, um, recently they took out, like, recently as I am, uh, making this video, um, they took Hulu off of, or they took South Park off of Hulu, and that pisses me off. Like, okay, I got, like, 15 seasons on DVD in my house, but that, or apartment, but that's beside the point. Like, come on. Let people watch Hulu. What? Let people watch South Park on Hulu. Not Hulu. But, like, Hulu does some really stupid shit every now and then. Alright, now we just need one more clue bottle. 
Where is it? We've definitely come across it before, but where is it? Hey, I found it. Yeah. Awesome. Not too much backtracking. Just had to figure out where the hell I put it. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input five, seven, eight. It's better and better. I'd always heard that one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique to move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. All right, so now we can tiptoe while being invisible. It's not exactly all that helpful, but we can still use our power-ups. And even with the fast thing, it really isn't all that fast. Anyway, let's head inward to the Panda King's Lair. Unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Okay, the key thing has gotten kind of ridiculous in the past couple levels, but what exactly is keeping, like, these locks are not keeping the fuses from being lit. What exactly is the problem with just lighting these things now? You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. But in any case, let's head in to the unseen boat. Okay, so I have said in the past couple levels that the clue bottles will be getting kind of harder to find and the panda king's fortress is really where they start becoming kind of a pain in the ass to find this looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move hold down the circle button to drop out of sight while invisible nothing can see you not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on you. This place is made a little bit easier if you have the uh, upgrade we got in the beginning portions. But, um, you know. Break this blue bottle, I'll break this one too, and you'll never know what hits you. Oink. I think the invisibility is like the only ability that uh, you can use with like another ability at the same time. Oh man, my heart skipped a beat there for a second because I thought for, I thought for a second that like, 
I don't know why, I kind of forgot for a second that we had the uh, moving wall invisibility power-up. Whoa, that was close. That was close. Like, can we get an instant rewind on that? Like, a, a playback? I... Oh my god. <laughs> that was really fucking close. Alright. Uh, let's head back just for a second. Okay, no, that does not appear to be a clue bottle over there. Okay, just wanted to double check. Just wanted to double check. It's not like it, like, took that long of a detour because, like, we have this speed up thing. But, uh. You know. Oh, there's snow falling over here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this game is so much fun. I mean, it is made by uh, Sucker Punch, who, after the Sly Trilogy, went on to do the Infamous games, if I'm not mistaken. Which, uh, I do kind of... I love Infamous Second Son. Uh, I have been playing a little bit of, uh, the first game in my off time. Not a big fan of the first game. It has some real difficulty balancing issues. Um, like, Cole takes way too much fucking damage, first off. And, like, his healing takes way longer than, um, than it does in the other games. Like, the story, the story and presentation, I would say, is technically better because like it it knows how to frame its cutscenes more interestingly um even if like the characters like their the mouth and body movements still look like well sly cooper which is very jarring on realistic looking people than it does on anthropomorphic animals but um yeah now oh and there's the key Let's mash it. Oh, of course. But, like, I'm having a fun time. Sort of. Now we got female Kunoichi Shida things. Who are actually kind of cute. Honestly. Not like, not like in a, you know, sexual way, but I like their design. Kinda wish they could take more of a hit, though. <laughs> That's girls for you, am I right? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Sort of. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could talk a little bit about that, like my feelings towards like this whole feminist wave thing. Um. I find there's some screen tearing going on in the bottom. I don't know what the hell that's about. Um, but this whole feminist wave thing that's been going on is kind of annoying, if I'm being honest. Not, it's annoying because it's really a non-issue that is being made to be a lot bigger than it is. And... I mean, okay, so... A lot of people... When... A lot of things that are made to be like, oh, we're gonna do like a feminist wave thing, like show girl power or whatever, they make the girls out to be like this, like, overpowered force. Like, oh, they, they can do no wrong, they're all powerful, blah, 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 blah. And, no. No. There are just as many pros of being a woman as there are a man. At least from a genetic uh, standpoint. 
Um, you know, like, for one thing, girls, like, typically, not saying all girls, but typically, are not as physically strong as guys. That is just a fact. Guys are built to be the physically dominating force because guys are built to be the hunters, the fighters. Um, and women, just genetically, are meant to be the protectors, the nurturers. You know, that's kind of the whole thing. Like, that's genetically what we evolved to be. As... Shit. <laughs> As... Okay, that, that was funny. But the... As our living situation got better and better because of technology and civilization, the need for these evolutionary... Um, selections, I guess you could call it, uh, became less and less. But that is the point of, of the gender differences. Like, that is the thing. And I will continue my point after we open up the safe. Press the circle to enter the vault code. It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be six, six, seven... technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into, and you won't even lose a lucky charm. Hey. I don't fall into bottomless pits all that often, do I? I mean, the last bottomless pit I fell into was because I got kicked in the face. <laughs> but, uh, anyway... <laughs> Uh, to continue my point about this whole thing, is like, ge gender differences exist for an evolutionary reason. Sly, this pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. Anyway, I, I guess that kind of, I, you guys get my point, is that this whole feminist wave thing is just freaking stupid. Because it inherently treats being a girl as though it is a bad thing when it isn't. But anyway, <laughs> we broke into Panda King's stronghold, stole two of his treasure keys, and we... Took back two pieces of the Devious Raccoonus. Two pages. So, next time on Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, we are going to try to get the other two keys that we can currently get. See you guys then. Invisible time.